The Pueblo Viejo gold mine is located in the middle of the Dominican Republic on the Caribbean island of Hispaniola in the province of Sanchez Ramirez. The project is approximately 100 kilometers northwest of the capital Santo Domingo. Mining commenced in 1975 in the oxidized portion of the ore body by Rosario Dominicana and continued until 1999. Barrick began gold production at the end of 2012 using pressure oxidization with carbon in leach gold recovery to process 24,000 tons per day of ore. The new process facility also includes a new lime boil technology for recovering silver. By the end of 2016, Pueblo Viejo has produced 4.2 million ounces of gold and 12.3 million ounces of silver. The Pueblo Viejo deposit is classified as a Cretaceous high sulfidation epithermal gold, silver, copper and zinc deposit. It was formed in sub-vertical funnel-shaped alteration envelopes where the hydrothermal fluids migrated upwards and laterally along permeable horizons depositing the precious metals. The deposit is hosted in carbonaceous sediments, non-carbonaceous sediments, and andesitic volcanics. A cross-section of the geological model shows in green color the lower volcanic basement with narrow vein mineralization, in gray and dark gray color the non-carbonaceous sediments and the carbonaceous sediments with higher lateral mineralization through stratification. The yellow color shows shells of mineralization over 2 grams per ton, while the red color shows high-grade mineralization over 5 grams per ton. The quartz pyrophyllite dickite alteration is the main control of mineralization in Pueblo Viejo's deposit. The resource pit shell contains the large portion of the mineralization. Deeper mineralization outside the pit shell represents a high potential to increase resource ounces. Pueblo Viejo is exploring opportunities to extract the remaining resource with both open pit and underground mining methods. During 2017, our Minex focus is to increase resources and reserves in the Upper Mejida, Montenegro feeder and underground targets. These targets have the high potential to increase the reserves and resources. The Upper Mejida target contains low sulfur mineralization below the oxide cap that was previously mined and contained a total of 350,000 ounces of gold. Pueblo Viejo will drill 13 holes totaling 1,700 meters to define this potential in 2017. The Montenegro feeder targets include three high angle structures that control mineralization and have the potential to host high grade ore along the bottom of the deposit that could expand the Montenegro pit or be extracted by underground mining. Pueblo Viejo has significant potential to increase the reserves that may be mineable with either open pit or underground mining methods. Ore reserves at Pueblo Viejo are currently constrained by available tailings storage facility capacity. Pueblo Viejo has completed a scoping study to expand tailing storage capacity that indicates that between 5.8 million ounces to 7.3 million ounces of gold resource grading between 2 to 2.5 grams per ton and 32.1 million ounces to 35 million ounces of silver grading between 11 to 12 grams per ton could potentially be converted to reserves at an assumed long-term gold price of $1,200 per ounce. A pre-feasibility study on the additional tailing storage capacity will commence in 2017. Further reserve and resource upside potential exists through the increased metal prices and exploration success.